everyone, it's Gideo, and in this video I'm going to be doing an unboxing of Rune Factory 4 on the Nintendo Switch, but the archival edition. So this is what the box looks like here. I'm really excited. I do, um, I did end up picking up the Japanese one as well back when it was released. I just never opened it and played it. Um, I just was waiting for this release. Might as well. And then just white on the bottom there. I took it out of the plastic because it was in like Serena, not Serena wrap. You know what I mean. Shrink wrap. But I have not opened it yet. So we are going to do that. Oh, that opened super easily. That never happens. Magical. I don't know which way it was supposed to open. We opened it on that side. So looks like this so far. There is supposed to be a big art book. So we are gonna find out. Okay, so first layer. Here is the, <laughs> this way is the game itself. Bum, bum, bum. So I have played this on, on 3DS, sorry, um, but I never actually finished it which is surprising. Um, actually, it's not really that surprising. But yeah, uh, I am excited to actually play it on the Switch and start it over again. The one thing that bothered me is that there was never enough save files, so you couldn't actually have a save file for every character root, um, and that pissed me off. I really like having a save file for every character root. Oh my god, here's the art book. This is the art book. It is supposed to be for all four games. Um, and I'm sure you guys already know, but there is a Room Factory 5 has been announced. It is just not out yet. It does have the outer cover. So <laughs> They're called woolies, right? There's woolies under the cover. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, I love that they kept the outer cover for it because... Um, I feel like generally North American releases tend to cheap out a bit, and it has this gold foil um, title here. It says Rune Factory Archival Book 2006 to 2020. And yeah, it's just the, the outer cover. Um, let me get these open, and I will show you guys super quick what is inside this and what is inside the game. Okay, so... This is what the soundtrack looks like front, back, and then inside is like this, all the tracks here, and this is what the disc looks like. Let's see if there's anything behind it. Not really, just more picture of the town. And I'll open up the game and show you guys what the inside looks like, and we'll see if there's anything fancy on the inside cover. Probably not, but who knows. Also, really quick, just so you don't leave the video, <laughs> um, or if you just want to skip to the end, doesn't really matter to me, um, I will be doing a flip through of this entire archival book um, at the end of this video, so keep watching, and I will flip through the whole book here. I'm not really gonna, I'm not gonna make its own video, I don't think it's necessary, so I'll just put it in the end of this. I love the smell of a fresh game, I know that's super weird, but yeah. Okay, again, front, back. I think I already showed this. Doesn't matter. Um, okay. Oh, that's interesting. We'll take a look at that, too. Um, ba -ba -ba. So it comes with the Swimsuit Day downloadable content. I'm not going to show you the code because it's mine. Um, the inside looks like this. So we have... I forget his name. Is it Leon? Is it Leon? It might be Leon. His, like thing that's his right i honestly haven't played this game in so many years so i don't know like, i guess i'll find out again and then of course just the cartridge itself which the camera's not going to focus on because it's tiny and it doesn't it just yeah it has the rune factory 4 symbol on it nothing nothing crazy i'm gonna take that out because i'm gonna put that game with the rest of my stuff oh but it also came with an instruction manual in the back has the art on the front or on the cover on the front cover it has art on the back of the instruction book and that's it right here um oh that's so cute okay so you know like old um harvest moon games and stuff would come with the books that had all the characters in it and it like gave you little 
tips on them. I don't know if this does, but it shows all of the characters like this with all their names. So as I said before, I really wanted all of like I wanted there to be enough save slots for all the characters. Of course, there was only three at the time because the, the saves are on the cartridge, so you can only have so much space. Um, so Dylas ended up Dylas Dillas, whatever the fuck his name is. Uh, I chose him for my main file because I don't know. He was really blushy. So he's like all cold and whatever on the outside, but then he just like can't handle the attention and it entertained me when I was younger so I was like yeah you chose him um originally I was gonna go for Doug <laughs> Doug why, why the name Doug I don't know what his name is in the Japanese one if you do know feel free to comment um if it's also Doug and it's just like Doug go or something weird I'm gonna die uh, but yeah Doug although his personality is fantastic I just couldn't do his hair as a kid I think I'm okay with it now uh but yeah I don't know what else is in here. Let's see. So mostly just control stuff, custom system settings. I'm not seeing, I'm actually not seeing learning recipes, cooking. Actually surprising, it doesn't really talk about bachelors and bachelorettes. Um, it doesn't say how you romance them either, I don't think. So that's interesting, but it does have all the voice actors for each of the characters, um, just the English voice actors though. So, and that's funny because I didn't know who a lot of these people were when I was younger when I first played this, and now I know who most of them are. Oh, oh, did they change some of the voice actors? I think they changed some of the voice actors. That's intriguing. Okay, so a bit of tea here, I guess, which is not really something that's on my channel. Um, pretty positive Vishnal's voice actor was Vic Mignogna. Was it not? I'm pretty positive his voice actor was Vic Mignogna. And it is now Michael Sinternicholas. Don't, I don't know how to pronounce it is fine if you know who that is michael michael sit you can't read it my camera will focus <laughs> michael sinter nicklass sure um that's crazy like i know there was a bunch of drama going on with vic Mignogna because of behavioral things um this isn't the channel to talk about it but if they changed his voice actor for this, I'm like, ooh, do they not want to be associated with him anymore? That's crazy. Because I swear, I swear it was Vic Mignogna. And if it's not, I'm going to cut this part of the video so I don't look like a fucking idiot. But, you know. But yeah. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure everybody else is the same. But I can't. I don't, I don't remember who they were originally. Except I knew him and then I knew the main dude list. Is still Bryce Pappenbrook, so like that's fun. But I'm gonna be playing this in Japanese regardless, so don't really matter to me. I'm really excited for the Japanese voices. I mean, it was on the DS too, so it's not like a, a big difference. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'm gonna do the closer look of this now. Uh, yeah, I'll just cut to that then. So here is the flip through. Here is what the front cover looks like. With the gold foil there and the back cover it is a very nice soft matte very smooth i'll take the cover off now the inside just has the title there archival book 2006 to 2020 and then of course you got the little woolies and this side says the same thing so we will put this to the side and we will start table of contents page the pages are just like a regular paper they're not laminated or anything although it is a very soft smooth paper so that's nice here we are have the first illustration And we have the characters for the first game here. A 
I quite enjoy like the art style. It just brings me back <laughs> to when I first started playing Harvest Moon. I mean, Harvest Moon. Well, yeah, also it reminds me of Harvest Moon, of course. But uh, when I first started playing Rune Factory, the first one I did end up playing was uh, Rune Factory Frontier on the Wii. And then I got it for DS after. And I had Rune Factory 2. And then I got 4 when it came out on 3DS. And then I ended up picking up 1 and 3 recently. But I actually haven't played either of those ones. So we just have more of the characters from the first game here. And a lot of the characters ended up being... Um, they were moved over to Rune Factory Frontier as well. Not these characters though, but... Some of the main girls were brought over to Frontier. Makes me sad though, because some of the side characters are so attractive, and I'm like, why can't I romance them? Also, if you guys have seen the new trailer for... Um, I know this is a Rune Factory video, but it's related to Harvest Moon, so I'm also going to bring up Harvest Moon really quick. If you guys seen the new trailer for the remake of Friends of Mineral Town for the Switch, there's same-sex marriages. <laughs> I literally almost sobbed when I seen it. To see a game that I have been playing since I was a child actually finally have that option, I lost my mind. I know that... Um, Fire Emblem Three Houses tried to implement it a little bit, although I think they missed the mark a tiny bit with some of them. I think there should have been more characters. We're into Rune Factory 2 now. We have the main characters here. And the, like, main girl. Same thing how Mist is, like, the, the canon girl in that one, and Mana is the canon girl in this one. Anyways, uh, I lost my train of thought again. <laughs> um, yeah, no. Harvest Moon, same sex, it's going to be fantastic. I'm so happy they finally decided to implement that because I know, I know Nintendo has been very weird. Uh, although technically Harvest Moon isn't like an atten a Nintendo only title. Um, but, you know, I mean, I know it's Story of Seasons here now. So if you're confused by me saying Harvest Moon, I mean Story of Seasons, but it's technically the original Harvest Moon and the new Harvest Moon here is no longer the actual harvest moon it's like a weird american version of it and it's not good it's not good <laughs> but we're not going to talk about that but yeah harvest moon same sex so if they're doing that considering it is i believe it's technically by the same company they're both by marvelous aren't they or am i crazy here your children i should have warned for spoilers in this but i feel like these games are also very old but yeah so kind of spoilers should have warned but also what do you expect for an art book for games that are very old? And then the characters, I believe that your children can romance. I never actually got to the children's stage of two. Some of the monsters. And now we're into Frontier, which was my first Rune Factory game. My throat just made a funny noise. Um, I had such a hard time deciding who I was going to go for. All of the ladies are so good. And, like, I loved Mist because she's technically, like, the canon main girl. Also, she's kind of a dumbass, and I love that. Um, but all of them were so good, and they all had something different. And I, I, I had a really hard time deciding. And, of course, there's never enough save files in any of these games to romance all of the characters. So I'm hoping for Rune Factory 5... And the new Harvest Moon, that's or the new Story Season, sorry, that's coming out. There will be enough save slots because the Switch has enough memory. You don't have to worry about it, and we can always update our card. Like, just let, just like, come on, just just let me have enough save slots for all the ladies. Um, Tabitha was a big one that I was gonna pick. Beautiful, she's great, gorgeous, love her, and her voice was super nice. Um, also Eunice. I love Eunice so much and like both versions of her are so cute no matter what. Uh, if I remember correctly, it's kind of rude what you have to say to her. 
to get her to lose her weight. And I'm like, I just, I don't think I would ever do that to her. Like, she's so cute. Like, just love her the way she is. But she's also very cute in this form as well. Either way. Yeah, no. Very excited for the new ones. Just, just, that's what I ask for. Give me more save slots. I'm so excited for five whenever the hell it comes out. I'm so pumped. Oh, and Annette was so cute too. I loved her. She was just really rambunctious. Cinnamon was cute too. Gotta love your glasses, girls. And Selfie. Oh my God. A girl as dumb as me who forgets to eat because she's too busy reading or doing things she loves. I relate. I relate. I relate, man. And these two <laughs> candy I forgot she was a thing I forgot about her I don't think you could romance her though she just existed and these ones here if man I just wanted to romance these two so bad Eric and Danny <laughs> I was like, come on, make that an option. If Rune Factory 5 has same-sex relationships, I'm going to lose my mind. Please, I cross my fingers. And as I said, I hope, I think they're made by the same company. If they're not, ignore me. Um, again, here are more side characters. He's also hot. He's also hot. Like, they're all hot. You know, it's fine. Like, she's hot. Why couldn't we romance her? And these, again, are your children if you have them in the game they're so cute they look just like their dad and then we have some um background pictures for the game or like some concept art for the the scenery we have some i forget what these are called the key frames there we go that's what they're called key frames here i hope you can see them i know the screen's a little bright and now we're into Rune Factory 3, which was released November 9th, 2010. Well, I haven't been looking at all the years. <laughs> but yeah, here's the main art for it. Here's the main character, your main canon girl. Raven's so cute. Like, they're so cute. Like, Karina's so cute. Ugh. The girls are really adorable in this one, also. Adorable. The Witch Apprentice. And Pia. Uh, Pia. She's a mermaid. Look how adorable she is too. I love. I love their designs. It's a good time. I'm like, what is this? A unicorn girl? I don't know, but she's hot too. Like, look at her glasses. Good time. Look at those boots. Like, I love me a scholar. Actually, I don't th even think she's a scholar. Is she a scholar? Turn the stern monster settlement leader. Oh, she's a monster settlement leader. She's a leader. That's hot too. Move some of the other side characters. Some more side characters. Again, I never played three, so I'm not too sure of everyone. Who is that? I see Titty. Jeez. Oh, and your kids. Cute. And then you have some guest characters. Here's some more art for the game. Some more of the animation keyframes. And now we're into Tides of Destiny. I played a bit of Tides of Desti Destiny. I didn't quite finish it though. Um, but this is cute too. And I loved the opening song for this one. Oh my god. The opening song for 4 is really good. And the opening song for Tides of Destiny is fantastic. Specifically Aiden's. Hers is okay. Hers is a little more like upbeat and... I don't know, silly sounding almost, where his has like this really calming feeling. It feels like an ocean and it's about the ocean and you know, it's real good. It's real good. Oh yeah. And this was, I think the first one where you could actually pick, oh no, that's all. Yeah. No, no, no. This is the first one where you could pick your gender. So you could be uh, Sanja or Aiden. And then, of course, four you can as well. But the other ones, you're always a boy. But in two, you got to play as your child after. So if you had a daughter, you could be a girl. Um, oh, yeah, this one, too. I had such a hard time picking um, a girl to romance because I was playing as Aiden. And then I was going to have another one of Sandra after. But again, I never ended up finishing it. I was kind of going after Lily because she's gorgeous in titties. Um, but Odette is also super cute, like the three sisters. And Violet's really cute too, like they're all really cute. I'm never really into the the rich ones, not really. 
Also, she's adorable. I wish you could romance her as the female character. She's also cute. They're all cute. I just... Oh, Mikoto, like, look at her. She is hot. I don't know. Is she, like, a goat person? I'm not sure. I don't remember. She's cute, too, though. I like her eyebrows. Evil sorceress. Oh, and then here are the, the males. Again, I was a little sad with the romance options because there's only so many for the female and there's quite a few for the males. You can see we've already went through all the male ones. And then for the female, I think there's only three options. There's James, who's still super cute. Love. Joe, who's the one I was going to romance because he's my type. Uh, just put a beard on a character and he's my type. Simple as that. Bismarck's also really cute, but it was those three that you could romance as a female. And I was sad because I wanted more. Here are what your kids would look like. And then, of course, the extra guests they don't have pictures for. Here's some art for different monsters. They look so cute. Look at the woolly. I love woolies. Adorbs. Here's some more art for the different scenes, scenery and whatnot. And then we got some more key frames, and then we're getting into four, and also, of course, four special, which is this one here. Here's the main art. Oh, my boy, Dylas. I love him. I love him. Got the two main characters. Female and male. You know what would be really nice? I wish... They would let you customize your character in, in Rune Factory, but I can understand why they don't because they do have the animated cutscenes, and I assume for 5 they're probably also not going to have a customizable character, but I can always wish, I always wish they, they did just a few different options um, or like a few different choices you can have, and then that way they had a few different animated scenes with just like different hair and different eye colors or something like that. I, I think that would be kind of nice, but, you know, it's kind of a pipe dream because it's a lot of work. Uh, the, the characters are so cute. I love all of them, too. I just want to romance everyone. Except I wasn't really into Amber. Yeah, Amber. And then we got Vishnu. <laughs> and we've got Arthur. Again, I wanted to romance everyone, but there's never enough space. But Dylas ended up being my fave boy in the end. Doug's super cute. Kale's super cute. Is it Kiel? I don't know. I don't know how to say his name. Dylas, look at my boy. He's a unicorn. <laughs> it's so lame. And then Leon is just absolutely gorgeous. Like, he's gorgeous. I just preferred his personality, even though he was kind of a dick, but he was like a softy underneath, and he was kind of like a cocky dick, but like less soft underneath, if that makes sense. But no, I mean, he's still soft. I'm not gonna, whatever, we're not gonna get into it. I'm just yapping at this point. Dragons! Beautiful. Right. I love. Look how gorgeous. Then we have the side characters here. Also, he's adorable. Him and his wife literally kill me. So cute. Also, why couldn't we romance Bado? Why? 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 Look at him. Look at him. Bearded. He looks old and tired, and I am here for that. <laughs> and here are your children. So I'm just going to slide that back up. Here are your kids. Great. Good. Very cute. And we have some bonus art here. There's some chibis of the characters and some special stuff. We've got a bunch of monsters here, which are great. Oh, I love the designs. Oh, I loved the elephant so much. I had one. It was a good time. And buffamoos. Ugh. I love cows. We have, here's the scenes, the background art. We've got some key frames here. We've got some official art here. And then we have the art for the box edition, or the special archival edition. And we have some special illustrations as well. These ones are a little smaller, so it's kind of hard to see, but they're, I believe, published in different magazines and stuff. So you can see here. Please stop sliding down. Very cute. The different characters from the different games. She's so cute, too. I love Karina. 
And then we have some more limited edition illustrations from different things and they all kind of say what they're from. And we have some messages from the development team. And then we have the little like credits pretty much. So that is the archival edition book. You can't see this fine. There you go. 2006 to 2020. Super cute woolies. It's a good time. Um, yeah. So that is all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I will link all my social media in the description below, along with my affiliate links through CD Japan and Tokyo Talk Mode. If you purchase anything through those links, I get a small commission. So thank you so much. I really, really appreciate you guys doing that. And I will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!